a twist on a classic mascarpone limoncello trifle stay tuned and watch this recipe hello everybody this is alessandra welcome to my home welcome to my kitchen look at this beautiful summer fruit we're going to be making trifle but with a little twist with mascarpone and homemade limoncello those of you that follow me there's also the recipe for limoncello let's get started Okay, it's a lot of stuff on the table, but don't get overwhelmed. You know, I go very slowly and I explain everything because I want you to make the recipes and have it be a success because I want you to enjoy them as much as we do and my family does. So, ready is going to be for the pan de España. Then this is going to be, we're going to make like a, a syrupy la baña in order to wet the pan de España. And then the cream mixture with the mascarpone and of course all the fresh fruit. So first thing we're going to do is make the pan de España. Okay, we're going to add a stand-up mixer. The trick to pan de España, the eggs must be at room temperature. If you're taking them out of the fridge and you want to make this quickly, what you do is put it in a bowl, fill it up with hot tap water and then we'll do the trick leave them in there 10 minutes 15 and then you'll get nice and warm eggs because this the pani spagna doesn't get the sponge cake does not get any uh, baking powder so it's all the air that gets incorporated into the eggs as you whip them up the best thing is a stand-up mixer for sure with the whisk uh, attachment so there goes the eggs i'm going to add the sugar now it's optional, you could add um, vanilla or uh, lemon zest. Because we're going to be needing the lemon juice later, what I'm going to do is I'm going to zest the lemon and add, add it right in. Lemon zest right in. And now let's get the eggs whipped. I'm closer and take a look, it's perfectly whipped. See that? It has tripled inside. It's it's a beautiful pale color, and this is exactly how it should be. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is sift in the flour. Sift in the flour in two to three times. So I'm going to give it the first good sifting right in, and then with a spatula, work from bottom to top, just like this. Sift in another third of the flour because what you're doing is you're incorporating slowly without deflating the batter and that's what you want. The last flour and finally just incorporate it slowly. Okay, we're done. Now, eight inch, you can use a spring form. Uh, it could also be a nine inch. Uh, because don't forget, we're going to cut the rounds to fit in the trifle bowl. I've, um, I use parchment paper, I like that. It avoids, it's a batter with no fat in it, so it does tend to stick. So I've, um, I've uh, lined it completely, I left the borders a little higher, just in case it rises, it has space to rise beautifully. So let's go ahead, oven is on 350, and let's get, let's get it baked. Okay, in the oven. Ecco qui, pan di spagna fatto. It's so light, uh, oh, that it's hot. When you touch the center and it's firm, it's it's done. It's uh, I added in the oven about 37 minutes actually. So anywhere from 35 to 40 minutes. If you're not comfortable, just do the little stecchino, the uh, the skewer test uh, that it comes dry. But like I said, between 35 and 40 minutes, it's going to definitely be cooked. Let's let it cool completely. One important thing when you're making the pan de España, do not open the open door. Don't slam any door because it could collapse. I can still hear my grandmother, e porta so like, just look, stop jumping, she used to say that. Non zombate, that's Napoletano. Um, so, I do the same. I, I swore that I was not going to be like my mother, my nona. I do the same. Anyway, this is very hot. Let me put it down to cool completely. And now let's move on with the fruit. I've washed, I've rinsed the strawberries uh, and the blueberries. Now what we're going to do is I'm going to put them on. I have a cookie sheet 
with, with the paper towel, I'm gonna put them to dry. The ones that are a little ripe or not perfect, what we're going to do, those are the ones we're gonna cut up and cook with the sugar and lemon. So I'm gonna measure out about a cup between strawberries and blueberries and then the rest we'll use fresh. So let's go ahead. Make sure if they have the little stems, remove them. Cut the stem off. I like to also remove the white part, this little thing right here, okay? And then I'm just gonna cut it up. But, so we have a cup of the fruit and I have the third of a cup of sugar and I'm going to add half of the lemon. Remember we use the zest? So definitely use half of the lemon. Uh, I'm holding it like this so the pits fall in your hand and it's easier uh, than picking them out or whatever you're making. Okay, now let's get it on the stove. Look at these beautiful colors, look at that. Keep stirring, it's on medium heat until the, the sugar is all dissolved. See, as it's cooking, the sugar is melted, right? But now the fruit releases the, its own water. But you want a little bit of that water to evaporate so it's nice and thick, okay? I think it's perfect like this because you still need a lot of its uh, um, juice to wet the pan de España. Okay, the compote is ready. Now, it has to cool completely too. Look at just this, look at, the, I just wanna show you this ruby red color. Next time I get, get my nails done, this is the color I want. Just this is the color I want. Now the final, well, the step before the final is let's get the cream ready. So here I have the mascarpone and I am going to cream the mascarpone with the sugar on low heat, low heat, low speed with the um, handheld mixer, okay? Let's get that done. Let's add the cream in and pick up speed. Getting nice and thick. I think it's ready. Let's take a look. Yes, look at that. Look how thick it is. Wonderful. Exactly the consistency I wanted. Now let's assemble the trifle. It's the time has come to put it all together. Okay, so now you still all with me, right? So here's the pan de spagna. We're gonna cut it in three pieces. Uh, the trifle ball is smaller at the bottom and larger on top, so we might have to scoot out. I know a lot of a lot of recipes call for pieces. I'm not a fan. I like the disc, but you could do it your way. If you like it in, in slices, you could do that too. So let's get this cut in three pieces first. Ecco qua. Uno, due, and here's another one. Okay. I'm going to use the middle part to set right at the bottom. I'm just gonna take a knife and go around, so you know this is eight inches, so you take off a, a, a little bit all around to accommodate for a smaller disc. Okay, make the circle. Now, don't discard these pieces. I'll show you, we could make little bowls of uh, trifle. Uh, let's move this on the side now because the first layer we're gonna do is going to be with the mascarpone cream. I like it in a piping bag. It just makes it for a, a prettier look. Now remember, it's gonna be about three layers, so I'll divide up the cream. Do it like this. 
Okay, it's looking pretty already. Just give it a soft push down. Maybe not a child approved, but this is where the limoncello comes in. I'm just going to add it right here. Uh, two, three, four, five tablespoons. That's really up to you, uh, the strength you want it. And start adding all this delicious flavor right in. So it's going to have a combination of the fresh fruit, the cooked, the compote, the cooked fruit, and the limoncello. It's just a, 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 all these flavors, si sposa no bene, they really marry well together. Some of the fresh fruit. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to line up the strawberries along the side. Just because I have a time to kill. Um, so the prettier, you want things to look pretty. So I'm just going to line up the strawberries right along. Let's get more cream in. Let's get the layer in. Now we're going to wet it again. More fruit, more strawberries around the sides. There goes the top layer, and now it's a perfect fit. Let me just squeeze it down ever so lightly so it gives me room to add the fruit. Going to add the rest of the compote here. Guess what? If you don't have enough, help, help yourself with some limoncello. Nobody's going to complain, believe me. So, there's really no right or wrong. Go crazy. Use your creativity. Uh, you can use other berry, raspberries, uh, the boys and berries, whatever berries you have on hand. So, here I am. Now, I'm going to start the final step decorating. One strawberry in the middle and just decorate it any way you want. And here goes the last strawberry. There it goes. I have mint growing wild in the garden. I love it. So it's wonderful and I love the summer months to add it to my water and to my fruit salad. Just really delicious. And avoid the trifle. Thank you for watching. Please make my recipes. Share them. We're not going to taste it because we're going to my sister's house tomorrow and we'll have it there. Grazie. Alla prossima. All my recipes are on www.alessandrasfoodislove.com. I'm on Facebook, on Instagram, Pinterest. Uh, my husband puts me everywhere. Anyway, grazie. Alla prossima. Ciao, ciao.